About a month ago, GitHub got in the news because their AI-driven code completion software it was doing something a little bit uh, not so good. According to this, uh, GitHub Copilot AI is generating and giving out functional API keys. So essentially, Copilot has been training itself via going through GitHub and uh, scouring uh, the code base, uh, the code bases there generated by other people, all the stuff that's out there, and then training itself. What happened though, apparently there were some bugs in the software. So let me just read a bit from this article. Microsoft, in partnership with OpenAI, made Copilot available on GitHub. For starters, it's an assistant that can help you write better code, but it has been recently brought notice that the AI is leaking API keys that are valid and still functional. First reported by SangGrid engineer, he asked the AI for the keys and it showed them. If you're wondering what the big deal is, API keys are critical as they provide access to all your apps databases. Earlier this week, a lot of established open source developers are moving away from GitHub. One of the developers said, I disagree with GitHub's unauthorized and unlicensed use of copyrighted source code as a training data for their ML powered GitHub Copilot AI. This product injects source code derived from copyrighted sources into their customer software without informing thereof the license of the source code. This significantly eases unauthorized and unlicensed use of copyright holders work. If Microsoft is really doing this is still unknown, certain instances definitely prove the above statement. So essentially Microsoft's AI, the co-pilot, is going through grabbing other people's code, pulling it out and using it to uh, help other people build their apps. So there's, you know, kind of a debate about how, um, I don't know, ethical that is. I don't know what the legality is there. So people are starting, starting to move their code off GitHub for that particular reason. So in full disclosure, I've been working with another AI-based code completion tool called Tab9, and they've been avoiding all those problems. So what do they do? I'll just read a statement that was sent to me. Tab9 is about empowering developers and not trying to replace them. It learns the users and its team's team coding style and gets better as you use it. So the more you use it, the more Tab 9's AI learns about how you code and what you're coding, and it gets better and better with its completions. It works in all IDEs, it keeps your code private, and it only uses models trained on open source and can be used either locally or through the cloud. Tab 9 for Teams, AI-enabled coding collaboration, gets even more accurate code completions with Tab9's new team-trained AI and private code-based trained AI. The more team members you add, the faster the AI will learn your projects, preferences, and patterns. There are basic fundamental principles of uh, best coding practices, but when you go from one company to the next, et cetera, from one team to the next, you're gonna have different uh, styles, depending on the code lead, the tech lead, different, uh, you know, patterns that they want to implement in the, within their code base. So it's kind of makes sense that the AI would train based on code written by that particular team. So it will much more quickly align to uh, this coding style that uh, your team is using, which is kind of cool. So let's go on again, a statement from tab nine, security and privacy by default. At tab nine, we know privacy is paramount. Copilot, may know it, but they're having a bit of trouble implementing, apparently. Apparently, I don't know for sure, but uh, that's what the that's what the zeitgeist is. All three of Tab 9's new AI code completion models can be run locally on your machine and never share your code or use it as part of Tab 9's open source trained AI. Yeah, that's uh, significant. So you can tell Tab 9 to say not use your code to contribute to their building up the tab nine's intelligence, if you will. And tab nine clearly states they don't see tab nine as a replacement for coders. As I've been saying for months, I don't see AI tools as a replacement for coders. Tab nine is about empowering developers and not trying to replace them. They also point out how tab nine learns this team's style of coding. So it gets better and better over time. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, I just want to bring that out in full disclosure. I work with Tab9. I'm letting people know about Tab9, and they wanted me to bring to your attention some of the advantages that Tab9 presents versus uh, Copilot. 
and other tools out there. So there you go. If privacy is a concern, something to consider about tab nine. If you think localized training as time nine implements is beneficial, then it sounds good to me. That may be something you want to look into as well. There you go. In full disclosure, as I said, I do work with tab nine. They want me to make people aware, help people become aware of what their tool set is. And it's up to you to give it a go and see what it's like. I think AI coding is, it's here. And I think it's going to help. I don't think it's going to replace just like a good IDE did not replace developers. It was just a big leap up from doing what I did for a few years, writing a Java code in a uh, text edit, which is a disaster. Well, I was, a, I was a cool kid back in the day. I said, I'm not some wimp. I'm not going to use a code completion software. I'm just going to write it right in uh, notepad on windows or text edit on Mac. And I'm just going to write it raw. And that was cool that way. Now, when I finally broke down a couple of years later and I started using uh, IDEs, I found that actually it made me a far more productive and better coder because the code completion just allows you to go, you, you just, you just, you're writing out code like a, like a madman, um, but in a good way. And you have less buggy code because the code is written out for you, less chance for typos. You know, a lot of coding errors, just typos, forgetting your semicolon or something. So that's where code completion and, of course, AI-based code completion assistance is code completion on steroids. So that's a good thing. All right. I hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.